Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Endless Space 2 Awakening, where the situation is evolving rapidly. So, I was trying to figure out what we could possibly give the Vaulters, maybe not with 145 influence, but you know, maybe with a turn or two of additional influence on, what kind of deal we could strike to get them to uh, declare peace on us and stop blockading Serta. While I was negotiating the deal, their fleet just flew away, so never mind, not a problem. But then, some Sophons rolled up, and planted their own flag here, and then sent some troops to start stealing our food. The good news about this is, we have more than enough troops to perform counter maneuvers, and if we do that, all of a sudden, things are looking pretty good for us. We're stealing from them more effectively than they're stealing from us. I mean, we put down on a planet that was a, a little bit better. Um, I have hope that we might actually be able to get this done. Now, they have a ship around Serta, and they could go into blockade mode if they wanted to, which is obviously a problem. We have food ships on the way, and they're being escorted, effectively, but things have gotten a little bit more complicated around Orm as well, because some uh, somehow, out of nowhere, a bunch of pirates have shown up. And there's not a ton we can do about this. I think all we can really do is play turtle. You know, our ship is... Our ship is very projectile-focused, wants to be short-ranged. Their ships, sadly, are also projectile-focused. And they are both individually weaker than our own ship, but um, we're outnumbered. So we're going to lose this. Our hope here, I think, is to just do as much damage as possible. We're not going to be able to retreat. Both of the, uh, both of the star lanes have pirate, uh, pirate bases at the ends of them. So we may as well just get in here, shoot some shots, do some damage... And then hopefully, uh, the... Wow, we did nothing there. Like, way less than we should have, that's for sure. Uh, I'm going to instruct the ship to fly through. I don't really want it to stop at Orm. Nobody's in defense mode here, so at the moment, the ships won't stop. We'll see if we can just streak one of the ships through to Serta, I guess? Or I, what I was hoping would happen there is that the Vaulters would end up fighting the pirates. Maybe that's what this fleet's doing. Who knows? I guess we'll find out. But for the moment, things are stable-ish? Stable-ish. <laughs> Let's not go too far, but we're somewhere. Uh, and we're, you know, progressing. We still have a plan. We're still pursuing the plan. We might actually get control of Serta, and if we did, I think that would be really, really good for us positionally. It's a very strong uh, eastern edge to the Empire for the moment. We'll see if anything terrible happens on the way. Okay, there are pirate vessels. So I think for right now, the plan is going to be for these ships to just go all the way through. Yeah, weird, but <laughs> weird, but I think correct. All right, that's 58 food to Nusakan. That should that should fill up pretty quickly. Yeah, we'll have a colony there in no time. And a bumper crop. Plus two resource generation on strategics or minus 10% on development cost. I mean, this is a note. This doesn't do anything at all. We don't even have system developments yet. We will soon. We will in two turns, but I'm not worried about this, and I don't want to invite the religious into our uh, into our government. I don't think that that party has a whole lot to offer us at the moment. And once we have Galactic co Commodities Exchange, we might have to go and get warship designs. I was kind of hoping that we could avoid researching the small ship design and just go straight to using mediums. And then uh, fill the fill the space in between with our slightly better than average patrol sh or, uh, probe ships. But it's looking like that might not be a real thing. So we managed to hack Gistrad. My inclination, as always, is to rob them. Do we want to sabotage their supplies? Because it is annoying. It is annoying to have pirate ships running around. I think I will, I'm just going to steal their stuff. It's fine. We got 300 dust, actually. Pretty helpful. Pretty, a pretty useful amount of dust. So, we're nowhere near our population cap. We could specialize to exoscience, but I don't know if that really... I don't think that's the right move here. Public-private partnerships is a lot more science per spent industry, right? Yeah, like considerably more. Uh, that said, we are pretty close to a happiness threshold, so maybe the right move is infinite supermarkets, because that, that drives up all of the resources. 
Uh, overall empire happiness is merely loyal. Certainly could get better. We could make some changes, right? The new colony law, the new colony rule is going to be very helpful very soon. Obviously, we're getting food out of it right now, and that's valuable. Uh, but we're we're gonna have a big explosion of happiness in the near future, which maybe means that this isn't the moment for this. It's like how many turns are we talking about on Nusakan? Nusakan is generating twenty one food per turn, so when this ship arrives, it's gonna take a little bit more than two turns off of the uh, off of the uh, the settle timer, and then another ship is launching in one turn. It'll get here, so we're probably looking at like. I don't know, I'm going to guess in the neighborhood of five or six turns until Nusakan, uh, until Nusakan is settled. And then we'll get 25 approval for a while there, then a few turns after that we'll get another 25 approval boost. How's Orm going? They're not blockading it, so that's looking pretty good. Actually, I guess I wasn't looking. Are these ships headed to... That one's headed to Serta. Okay, these are all... These are all Serta bound. And it looks like they're going to get through. So I think we're actually going to, very shortly after this would finish, get a bunch of overlapping uh, approval boosts. So maybe that doesn't need to be right now. Maybe we could, we could go to like public-private partnerships or magnetic field generators. This is only 9 science at the moment, and this will be 20 under our current circumstances, so probably that is the sensible thing to do. Okay, happy with that. Happy-ish with that. Oh, right, but I finished a hack, and that means I should probably run another hack. Uh, is it just the same one? It might be, honestly. Gistrad is in a really awkward position as far as preventing me from hacking anybody else. Yeah, we're probably just gonna... There's probably no way around it. I'm probably just going to need real warships. Let's see what it looks like to try to get to the medium design, because the, the, the power boost from... Having mediums is so great. Okay, that's really annoying. That's super annoying. The vaulters guarded Nos just for the beginning of the turn so that they would stop my ship from moving through. Well, the good news is, one on one, we probably beat pirates, although it looks like not by very much, the game is predicting. 72, 157 with 2000 health. Ooh, yeah, okay. My patrol ships do not have a ton of base HP. I can definitely see how we might lose this one. That, one, that one's going to come down to some dice rolls on the attacks. Very close. Well, I'll say this. They're doing a great job of making it annoying for me to defend my settlement. Six turns. Spending 250 dust on this. I think it's worth doing just because every turn that we're every turn that this is not finished is a turn where that vaulter fleet could return and put up the uh the blockade and if they do put up the blockade these food ships are going to be irrelevant anyway because they're just going to get destroyed in space so i'm a, i don't know i'm a little torn because that's a lot of dust right it's a lot of dust to spend this way and when that first food ship arrives we're set I do wish that when you moused over a food ship, it would give you an indication of how many turns you were looking at until arrival. We have no way of doing that. You can't click on them to select them, so we just have to guess. That looks like it's probably at least three turns worth of movement to me. So this ship is probably not going to accelerate things by very much. We're probably looking at, I don't know, I would guess four or five turns until Serta settles naturally, or three turns if we pay the dust. I think it's worth paying the dust. I, I actually do. All right, research. So we have access now to our first system development. If we wanted to unlock straight up medium ship designs, we would have to research two things from this tier, which is not a thing that, you know, obviously we, we want the spin project. And adaptive bureaucracies is good. Denark University is a powerful building, although I often don't build it until way later than I probably should. I think this is probably pretty reasonable. It'll open up a law slot in our government as our influence continues to climb. Obviously, there's some value in that. Make our uh, food ships a little bit faster. Uh, but botanical scanning is also important. Maybe we don't need xenology right away. 
Uh, we probably don't need adaptive bureaucracies right away, because again, I'm, prob <laughs> I'm probably not going to bother building Dark University immediately. So if we do it like this, if we were to research military, the, the small military ships, we're talking about, um, we're talking about in three turns being able to build warships. If I do it like this, this technology is quite a bit more expensive than those ones. Yeah, like a lot more expensive. And obviously our science output is going to keep climbing, but we're probably looking at something closer to like, I don't know, 13 turns maybe before we can start building our first medium ship, which will take a while to build. So it's, it's non-trivial, certainly. That said, boy, media, boy medium ships are a lot better than smalls, huh? I wish that the mouse over here gave you a little bit more information. It's like, I would love to know what the base HP of this ship design is. Or like, yeah, like the, that you could click on this and get a picture of the design or something. Because I don't know how much better the Egg the actually is than our scout ships. Obviously, it's better. But the degree to which it is better matters quite a bit. I'm going to do it like this. We're going to try to... We're going to try to skip the small ships that we, you know, don't really need. Oh yeah, Orm. I, I totally didn't check the settlement time on Orm. So there, there goes our first punch of the big approval boost. Empire's back to Devoted, which is awfully nice for us. Uh, also, that event has come to an end, which is a shame. A trace, whatever. And we're back to the blockade. Which really does make things awkward. That said, they might not stick around. They might once again decide that it's correct to move off. Uh, this is definitely what we're doing. Uh, we might want to use our influence to buy some things out in Orm. Let's really push this. You're a Baron. Ooh, that's right. I forgot that the, I forgot that we have Kairos. Colonized Baron's actually, like, pretty important for us. To be perfectly honest, the thing that we probably drop then is Xenology. As much as I like the Spin Project, I think Food plus Colonized Baron is maybe, like, really important. So I guess let's do this. We'll research the two things, and then we'll decide whether we want to finish Xenology now or come back to it later. But yeah, we, we definitely want to be able to colonize Kairos as quickly as possible. The influence from that is going to be tremendously helpful, and also we need to start pushing back against Mira's bubble um, quickly. Alright, well... I should say, it's not impossible that the Vaulters will let the food ships through. When the food ships arrive at the blockade, they will not deliver their food that turn. The Vaulters will have one turn to destroy them. If they don't destroy them that turn, if they just hit the end turn button, I believe the food ships then do land and deliver. So we might be fine. The Vaulters might just choose not to hurt us. We should have a look Speak. again here and see if they're at all interested in peace. Because I would love it if we could get some, some peace going with at least one of our neighbors. No, they're actually trending toward war. This is way more negative uh, approval of this idea than they had when I was negotiating it earlier. Alright. Well... We don't have a lot of options, then. There's no way we're going to be able to get peace going. They're planning to declare war on us, I think. I think that may be what's happening. What about the Sofans? How do the Sofans yeah. feel? Why are you knocking around? Also pretty negative? Yeah, also pretty negative. Okay. Man, maybe we don't have a... Maybe skipping efficient shielding is not even an option. That may well be the case. You know what? Let's get these two techs that we're working on now. I think it I think it maybe behooves us to uh to do some bias here. Well, I mean, buying out adaptive bureaucracy doesn't really help us until we get the drone uh, network finished anyway, because I don't want to I don't want Kairos to be or settling Kairos to be the thing in the queue right now. I want to finish the drone networks, which I'm doing. Okay, that happened. The behemoth technologies have been revealed. Okay, that's, that's what I was afraid of. Hold on, we'll deal with that in a second. Okay, 
What about our system developments? We're about to have room to start actually building these. Do we want to just do deciduous trees? Not really. I want to do Eden Incense. But I don't feel comfortable committing the Eden Incense until we have resolved the Serta situation, because it may, in fact, be the case that we still don't settle it, right? Hmm. What about the market? We have access to the luxury market. Does it look like people are selling a lot of Eden Incense? It doesn't. Hmm. That's a real shame. Uh, well... How much do we have right now? 26? So we could... You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to commit the Eden Incense. I know that this is tricky, but the thing is I really want to get one of these... I really want to get a couple of these modernizations down right now. In particular, I'm thinking at Orm. And then we'd have to buy 14 more Eden Incense. 1.6k. Can we make 1.6k happen with our... Uh, trees here? We sure can. I'd like to do that and also get it going elsewhere. I guess it doesn't really matter where. And in theory, it should be the place that is furthest forward. But I just, I really want to get that influence income going because we're going to need it to buy stuff. Yeah, it, it doesn't super matter here. I guess, Venny? I just put it there. Because we don't have a lot of percentage-based boosts to it, so you know, wherever wherever we want to put the flat bonus, we we'll just put it. Oh, I suppose the um, the approval boost to influence is system-specific. So actually, I want to put it in the capital because the capital is most likely to maintain um, maintain being ecstatic even without new colony rule bonuses. Okay, we're continuing to expand. We got to figure this out. Here we can retreat safely. There are uh, there are neutral nodes around, and there's no sense losing that ship to do no damage at all, which is 100% what would happen there. You guys are headed for here, it looks like. And they're blockading me here. We have so much food income that we're still fine, even with the blockade. Oh, never mind. Blockade doesn't affect your food income once you're... Um, once you're established. Well... How are we going to deal with Serta? We're, we're about to have a ton of influence. Let us see if we can trust your words. Here, let's ask them to... Let's try asking them to back off. Sometimes the AI does this in situations where I'm pretty surprised by it. I trust you no more than I would trust Okay, a gesture of goodwill. Hey, that's exactly that is exactly what I want to see. Gestures of goodwill. Okay, are we also cool with halting the attacks? <laughs> Perhaps. Cuz I would love it if I could I be around my own systems. I would trust a clan oh my god, it's beautiful. So they can't attack us for 10 turns. She she does not want to be openly at war with me. I like it. I like that a lot. It does not solve this problem. But, I believe it does mean that she literally can't attack our food ships. So when this ship arrives and brings in 48 food, it'll push us back up toward... I don't know if it'll be enough to get us actually uh, settled. And in fact, in two turns, we're going to lose some food. Well, I guess we're they're gonna we're going to stop losing food and we're going to stop gaining the same amount of food. So it's not going to matter that much. I was just thinking we're not going to have anybody to steal from anymore. Yeah, this is still a sticky situation, but the fact that she was willing to, um, the fact that she was willing to, to agree to the, those, uh, requests is a good sign for our long-term diplomatic relationship. If the AI brain was thinking that they were getting to, getting ready to declare war on me, they probably would not have, uh, would not have gone for the stop attacking my ships thing. Okay, so, the suggest terms button, not available. Probably we're not going to be able to find anything. But this doesn't mean that there's no deal. It just means that the deal would be harsh. I might be okay with harsh, though. I guess there's no sense in trying to negotiate it now. Let's go ahead and push forward until we actually have the influence to make a deal. And then we'll, then we'll look at uh, making that deal. Figuring out the terms of that deal. 
Once again, they stopped me in front of the pirate ship and then flew away. Well, the good news is the pirate ship is still very damaged, and this time we will we will succeed. Uh, here, I'm gonna sabotage their supplies because there's too many damn pirate ships, and I'm starting to it's starting to be a real issue. Okay, wow, our patrol ship was almost defeated. That's hmm. I don't know if I think that that is a reasonable thing to have happened. Yeah, I guess just continue through. Okay, get a new population type. It'll happen. That's not a thing we need to think about. So what are we looking at now? What are we thinking? Obviously, Optics Research Lab is pretty okay, but it's also quite slow. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we have all of our colonizable planets have, um, have anomalies, so this is pretty good here. On Orm, we finished a couple of things. We have pretty good food income now. I mean, it could be better. But it's probably a good idea to get the Xeno Industrial Infrastructure built, and I would love to press the buyout on that in a turn or two. But obviously, if we if we get ourselves to a position where we can make a peace deal with the Vaulters, we have to do that. Because I, I want Serta very badly. We should probably also send a colony ship to Gonos. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna need the resource income, right? Even though this system's like not amazing, Gonos Four is fine. It's a fine planet with some resources. So maybe we make that a bit of a priority. Nakar is filling up enough that I think it's probably a good idea to let Nakar Four finish getting colonizable. But then we'll build a settler ship and we'll send it out. All right, uh, let's do one more turn before we talk to the Vaulters about the deal. So we're going to end up just a little bit north of 300 influence, which should be enough to make a real, make a real pass at something here. Uh, I would prefer the ecologists over the scientists. If we could make that happen, that would be great, but I'm not going to be heartbroken. Looks like the pacifists are, in fact, the winners. Well, that's also fine, but it really does stop at fine. All right, we can now colonize Orm. Venny has been compromised. Well, this is an okay time for that because we have some approval boosts. <sighs> Man, maybe this is not an okay time for that? Also, how am I at minus four? Oh, I'm at minus 14 because I'm sending food out. Post from Venny, of course. Well then, yeah, we shouldn't mess with Venny right now. If we have a sleeper, we'll just have a sleeper. Okay, apparently we're food positive again, even with the blockade. Well, I mean, that would be great if that's actually the case. Dmitry Lenko has now picked up uh, Blue Sky Speculator as a possibility and also Public Relations Expert. Obviously, I'm going to take this first, but we do want Blue Sky Speculator. It's just this is so much extra influence. We do need to get trading companies as well. I'm a little... I originally wanted to do that next, and then I was thinking, you know what, we should probably push real hard for ships. Oof, that's a nine-turn research at our current... At our current rate. The thing is, we desperately... <laughs> it's, it's looking like we're desperately going to need military ships. So, I don't know. I want to get the trade companies established, but they might have to wait a little bit. We're not planning to rely on them so much for income. This game, like, it's not as important that they grow to the greatest size possible as quickly as possible. So I guess it's not a big deal if we take that a little bit later. Speak. And let's try talking to you Let now. Let us see if we can trust your words. So how negative is peace? Has it gotten better or worse? It looks like it's gotten a little bit worse, I think. I sure wish this bar was just numbers. Like, I get, I get a visual representation and everything, but... Boy, it sure would be cool if I could just, you know... If it was easy for me to go, oh, this is better than last turn. Wow, they love Adamantian. I mean, Adamantian's hard to come by at this point in the game, right? So if we offer them Adamantian and mm -hmm. our maps... Okay, the AI does not care about our maps. They probably have a pretty good sense of the fact that I don't know anything that they don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have literally no information they don't have. 
Except for maybe the location of Trader's Reach, which is not useful to them. Hmm. Uh, what about all of my red sang? How does that strike you? Okay, have literally no value. How about 114 titanium? It, it might just be the case that we don't have anything else they value. That's entirely possible. Yeah, I think that I think that's what we're looking at here. And we're not allowed to offer them any more complicated terms. But you know what? Actually, hold on a second. I think I was making some headway here. Not with that though. But I think the titanium the t the titanium may have legitimately moved the bar. All right, we're gonna use our mouse cursor to mark where the bar is. We're gonna offer like 50 titanium. How how much does that help? It helps. It does help. And then I have quite a lot of dust to offer. What about 500 dust? That might have actually made the deal worse. <laughs> it definitely didn't help. So yeah, they do like the titanium, but it's just we it's it's not enough. Even all of our titanium is not enough. We're so close to being able to broker a deal. If only we had something else they wanted. They don't value the dust at all, but what if we bought some, like, antimatter or something with our dust? Let's see. Let's see if that works. The Ken do not yet trust you. Because they really like higher tier strategics. Oh. Come on, show me. Wow, that did that one did not move the bar at all. Well, I don't feel too bad having spent the dust on it. I'm sure we'll we'll find a use for it, or eventually we'll sell it back for a price that's probably not too far off of what we paid. I really thought there was a chance that might work. I mean, honestly, I might buy some. I might buy both the adamantium here as well. It seems like they like adamantium. I tire of your whining. Okay, whining is a little harsh. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying it's a harsh description. No, that's not. Mm -hmm. That's not working. And then also the titanium. That's close. It's so close. Yeah. All right. Well, it looks like there are literally no terms that will get us where we're going. So I guess I feel okay using our influence to just buy stuff out. This, I think, is probably the most important thing in the entire Empire at the moment. So we'll get that. We'll get this bought out next turn. And you will... Jeez, I don't even know what. Is there anything useful to do with you at all? I guess just hang, hang out here. Keep things level for a moment. And let's just get some more vision. Oh, and also let's run hacking operations out to Gistrad. We could install... Oh, actually, I should probably... Not... I don't really need to have defensive programs running on Nakar since every hack's going to have to go through Veni anyway. It might be better to run... Just run encryption here, although at the moment, with our bandwidth needs, we can certainly just do both. It's not like it matters. Alright, there are a lot of Vaulter ships flying around. I'm hoping that they're intending to fight the pirates. It'd be really nice for me if they if they would just fight these pirates. Okay. Nusikan is a colony, and at the rate things are going right now, Serta will be a colony next turn, even through the blockade. We're just barely getting there, too. Um, probably this, the dust that we paid is a pretty big deal here. Right, so you guys can merge up and repair here once it's my system. Uh, yeah, just just stay there. A general increase in luxury prices is not a big deal for us. Let's go ahead and buy that. We'll get Kairos settled, and then we'll go public-private partnerships and Cerebral Reality probably in there. But I want to get I want to get Kairos settled and probably move the population over. Like I'm glad that we settled Orm One first and got building. I guess Kairos um, Kairos probably doesn't have any food output. Yeah, so we really can't do that right away. We, we can maybe move some population over as the as the population of Orm grows. I guess. 
Oh, that's right. You're also a scout ship. All of my ships are scout ships. So why don't we, um... What's, what still needs to be scouted? I mean, we, we haven't actually looked in this direction. Most of what's down there is getting checked now. I mean, we can fire it off this way and maybe see what this, uh, what this system is over here. It looks like we're pretty bound in in this direction by the vaulters. In a way that is maybe going to be a problem in the long term. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to panic about it too much right at the moment, but we may have to fight them. That might be a thing. You know what else we should do? We should probably get plasma metallurgy. And that's like, that's pretty high value. Because we first of all, we already have sources of Hyperium. And secondly, it's even more industry, which we could really use. Because after we finish researching these medium vessels, I'm going to want to build a bunch of them very quickly. Alright, so we managed to force a colony through on Serta, which I think is really, really good for us. I think that's a big deal. Uh, we hit a population collection threshold, it says here. Ten Imperials, awesome. Uh, that doesn't really do anything except guarantee that the industrialists will rule the uh, government forever. Which I'm fine with. We do have a law slot available now. And the Mineral Misers Act is certainly good. The question is whether it's better than the 51 influence per turn that we could put toward buying things. I'm honestly not certain that it is. Why am I plus 50% on the cost of this law? Huh. I don't actually know why that's the case. I do wish mousing over that uh, would tell me something. Because it's not attached to any of our traits, right? Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea where that's coming from, and there's no way to check it out. It is on all of our laws. Maybe that's, um... Maybe that's what happened when our planet got hacked. They somehow increased the cost of our government temporarily. I mean, that's kind of whatever, and I don't think that really matters very much. Plus 10% industry output per strategic deposit on systems. So on the car, that's potentially 10% or maybe zero, because the fact that, I, I don't know if it works on uh, deposits that you're not working yet. Here on Veni, it could be pretty good. On Orm, of course, it could be pretty good. It is extra industry. And the conversion between points of industry and points of influence, like when we want to use influence to buy out buildings, is bad. Like, it's definitely better to do it with industry. And the extra resource generation is extra money and extra trading power. I'm going to leave it for a little while, but we'll definitely put that on at some point. So the only outpost we have left running is Trader's Reach. Oh, but we intend to have another one soon, right? Uh, this is not great here. If we take over the Boreal world, um, this will get quite a bit better. I don't know. Finish the drone networks, then we'll think about it. The Settler is complete, so let's get him out here and going. And I'm not actually sure how we want to do this. Like, do we want to just fly from Veni through open space? Because there sure are one trillion pirates around. I guess let's fly over here and we'll make the decision from here later. Am I allowed to ask her to move her fleets again? No, not for another six turns. But I would really love to have her not blockading my system. That's very annoying. Uh, and because she's blockading the system, we don't currently have any income of Eden Incense. We will, eventually, but she needs to go somewhere else first. She needs to find something more productive to do. Uh, I think it's probably worth doing that. Let's get the food going here as quickly as possible, and immediately in, uh, intensive cultivation logistics is looking pretty good. Unfortunately, not really feasible to build. It's a good thing, you just you gotta have a lot of money. Speaking of having a lot of money, let's talk about selling some of this titanium, maybe. Because we could probably afford to part with, like, 75 titanium pretty easily. 
And then uh, Eden Incense is down, but still expensive. But I think maybe worth trying to pick up some more of. So we have none right now. 40 of it's going to run 4.3. We can upgrade a couple more systems. The thing is, the earlier we get this going, the bigger the bigger the help. So let's but let's do Serta for sure. Definitely want the influence bubble expanding here very rapidly. And then like Nusikon and Veni are both kind of the same. Right? In in terms of like the usefulness of expanding their influence bubbles. Because they're both gonna get overtaken by Nakar at some point here. I guess Veni's a little further out. And it's doing a thing that is maybe not quite as critical. Even with the blockade, yeah, okay, we are we are still able to do repairs. That's a that's important. Alright, so we have a pretty strong influence income going. We discovered Bilgeli, which is where uh Sophons have put down here, and there's a pirate mark on them, which can only have been purchased by the Vaulters, right? So the Vaulters are kind of saber-rattling and putting their elbows into everybody to some degree. I'm going to try it. I think even if we get blockaded and stopped at Geestrad and have to retreat, there's a decent chance that the retreat takes us to Orm. So that should be okay. You guys are just going to hang out here for a while. We have important stuff building everywhere. Yeah, so at, th at this point, I have no compunction at all about spending influence to buy out structures on the new systems. I think that's how we're gonna we're gonna accelerate through this next phase. Trader's Reach comes online in two turns. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. I know that we're in danger, but overall, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. Let's go ahead and get Applied Cryogenics, the Sopron class, totally badass hunter ship in the queue here. Maybe we go ahead and let Xenology finish, because the spin project is cheap to build, and in some places it's going to be a fair amount of extra influence. Like, the capital has 11 population. Pretty much just the capital, <laughs> I guess, is where it's good. But it does also only delay the ships by a single turn. Still, though, we have so... so little population almost everywhere. Now, I'll go ahead and build it. It's fine. Okay, uh, do we want to send out more probes? I guess we may as well check every angle, since we just have these probe ships sitting here while they're getting repaired. I am not going to buy out the repairs. And at some point soon, we're going to want to research some proper, um, proper military modules. Probably at some point in the near future. Alright, Orm is pushing out hard. If our influence bubble starts pushing back Mira's influence bubble, that's going to potentially give us the ability to make diplomatic demands on the Sophons, which could be really useful. I'm going to sabotage their supplies again, because it would be great if they did not pirate us again anytime soon. Uh, this, I have a hard time imagining, is going to be terribly relevant. I guess we can... Um 150 dust is not even a reward. We definitely want to do one of these two things. I guess Horde. Horde is nice and easy. Rather just have a stockpile of 1400 dust. Look, I did it. So we'll let that complete next turn before we spend any of this. Got our plasma metallurgy, and we should definitely go ahead and build that thing in the places where it makes sense, like here. Probably that is a little bit more important than finishing the field generator. Although the field generator is close to done. No, it's, it's important to get the industry up. Uh, it's very good here. The other places don't have the population, don't have enough population for it to be like vitally important yet. I probably don't want to rush the settling of Kairos as badly as I want to rush stuff like this. Like, let's let's get these other little colonies established. Here's a question. Do we grab Serta 3 now so that the Xeno-Industrial in Infrastructure and Public-Private Partnerships will be better? 
Probably, even if I don't necessarily intend to put any people on it. It's like having the colony structures down there is valuable. Alright, now that's a red probe there, so now they know where Traders Reach is. They know everything that we know, probably. So we're looking at nine turns from here to the medium ship design. Ten turns. We can obviously buy some of that off. We're producing about a turn of science worth of influence, although actually our influence value keeps changing arbitrarily. Hey, look at that. We did it. We sold ten titanium to be rewarded with thirty titanium. We'll deal with that in a second. Xenology is finished. So we do have another source of influence output, which I think is probably worth enabling on at least these two planets. Listen, we'll get to that optics research lab. It'll happen. And then, honestly, those might be the only two. Uh, it's okay here. But honestly, I think I do let this other stuff finish first. Alright, you're on your way. Here we were attacked by a single pirate ship, and apparently there's a pretty good chance that it's going to do a lot of damage. Are we going to lose a ship here? We're working. We're working so hard on better ships. Here's some... Oh! Here's, a, here's an academy fleet. Well, that's a little concerning. They have 41 movement? Huh. Hey, Valters. Speak. Let us see. If what are your feelings your on the matter of peace? Hey, okay, still looks about the same as before, which is to say, absolutely not. Uh, we could just give them some gifts, maybe. Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe we just uh, like trust you. hand them what? some of our surplus Speak. titanium. Let's say like twenty. How does that feel? I do not trust your words or your We do have to push back on their uh their influence, uh their their diplomatic pressure gain as well. They have uh a lot of pressure on us from their score being higher, probably because they have more total territory than we do. It is a thing I'm a little bit worried about. And the colony around Traders Reach is completed, so this'll probably this the drone networks here will probably be the next thing we uh next thing we put influence into. There we go, we have a decent number of colonies established. We have a uh, fair amount of influence income. Things are developing. Maybe not as fast as they could be, but they're developing. I will say, this is um, the fact that we're we're getting constant pirate spawns all over the place. And like two, two pirate bases spawn in the middle of my empire. Uh, really, it's going to have some effects. Boy, well, that sure is a lot of vessels. Now remember, they actually can't attack us. Speak. Let us see if we can trust your words. Uh, where is the... I guess in two turns. So this, this is an indicator, but there should be an indication of that effect somewhere. Yes, yeah, like it says that they're not able to attack our fleets, but it doesn't have the duration of it. For some reason. It definitely should. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that there is a there is a timer for that uh for that information somewhere in the UI. I don't know where, obviously, but I think there is one. Go ahead and scrape away all of the extra space here. May as well, right? The probes are free. So that's going to enable us to rush drone networks. I don't know, maybe I should be saving my influence for pushing on applied cryogenics at this point. Okay, I'm not really worried about that. I mean, we, we are not even capable of being competitive in that, I'm sure. This academy fleet just moving back and forth is kind of making me nervous. 
I mean, actually, out of curiosity, what are what are the values looking like? Oh, right, they don't show you the values. I'm not even going to bother putting in one to test the waters. It's just, it's not going to happen. Oh, mm, no, I am. I totally am. You have more to say? Your I will contribute. A single one of these. We'll see what our number looks like next turn. If it were possible to get control of the Academy attack fleet, it sure would be useful. We could definitely find some things to do with that. There's a little bit of unrevealed space right here that we may as well reveal, right? Okay, so these two influence bubbles have met. Uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on the speed of movement here, but we can also, I believe, just check the diplomatic panel and it'll tell us... Okay, minus 0.3 from border friction. They are expanding more quickly than we are. However, uh, yeah, putting people on Kairos will definitely change that. That said, I think I would rather we focus on generating food for the moment. Also, Kairos doesn't have any industry output at all. Yeah, let's let's fill Orm 1 before we go worrying about that. I'm just going to buy that out straight. Uh, obviously, where I've come down on the issue of accelerating applied cryogenics is that it's really important to get our systems developed. Uh, here, this is 20 extra industry, which is actually pretty significant. Yeah, grab that and then maybe grab Nusicon 2. Uh, that's going to take a while. I was thinking that's going to be another 20 industry off of this. You know what? Do that and then get Cerebral Reality going. Or, if we wanted to build intensive cultivation logistics, that's not really that many turns worth of influence and we do need the food. Hey, that's a thing I should be more concerned about in more places. We don't really need the colony on Nakar 1 all that badly. We also don't really need you to be over here. This is the most productive planet in the system. For right now, we can just go ahead and overload it without uh, without any real penalty. Because of the, all of these stacked up influence effects. I kind of want to just do this. I kind of want to just get this going because this is a big deal, right? It's a lot of extra resources. But it's also such a long build. 7.1k influence. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know if that is a reasonable thing to do at this moment. So I'm just thinking here, obviously any source of industry is better the earlier you get it. And Denark University does also give food. We don't need the food as badly here, I don't think. But still, maybe it's worth building this right now. I'm going to hold off. Let's let's finish smaller things that give us more... Um, give us more direct benefit. Or Im more immediate direct benefit. It would also be nice to unlock the Academy Embassy, because um, more heroes is good, and we're probably, this game, not for a while at least, going to have the option of buying heroes from the market. It says that the Academy Embassy enables the unlock of new heroes. You definitely still get free heroes without it. But more frequent heroes is definitely a thing I care about. We already have a lot of systems going ungoverned. I think I actually... think I actually care about that. Alright. Event. Okay. This is interesting. So... Plus 10% influence versus plus 10% science and an approval boost. Our approval is fine, but it's plus 10 approval on each system, so it would push all of our systems to ecstatic, which is extra food, in addition to giving us that extra science, or just a random tech, which could be... I mean, it could be anything that we can currently unlock, so we could get lucky here and get, like, trade companies, but we could also get, like, planetary landscaping. Or Enway Fusion. 
I think I'm going to take the science boost. Science and approval boost. And it's actually pretty good at this moment. Alright, we are at less than 0%, which means that in order to overtake these players, we would have to donate more than 32 more, probably. How quickly am I mining it? 7 per turn. And there is some on the market, not a ton. Part of me wants to go for it. The Spear of Isianter would be really useful. I'm going to put in 19 more. This is as it should be. All right, so we'll be at 20. That'll give us a better, a much better idea of exactly how much more we need to, uh, to complete it. I bet we can make it happen. It's not going to be cheap, but I bet we can make it happen. In no small part due to the uh, large number of colonies we've managed to build. Uh, it's hard for me to imagine that we don't want to take plus industry on all of our colonies. There's so much important setup work to do. And I know science is important and everything, but there's so much setup work to do. Food being converted into dust is actually really bad for us right now. We definitely want that food as food. So let's take this thing that does nothing, because I think the other thing is actually negative. And I know I pushed back the science on these a little bit, but we can we can make up for that with uh, with rushing the tech a little. All right, don't don't actually put anybody over there. Yeah, no, we don't need to do that. I just wanted to get that so that this would be much better. These ships are almost at full health. They're relatively pretty weak. I'm not really sure what I want to do with them. Okay, so we're in for 20, and that's put us at 4%. We would have to end up in for over 160 in order to guarantee the one of the top slots. But it's not totally impossible that we could take third. And depending on what people choose as their roles, we still might get the spear. Probably not. Probably... The spear is the most wanted. But we can still get something. So I'd have to put in... Another 60-ish, probably. We have a couple turns left. I mean, we can, we can let our, um... We can let our Hyperium generate for a minute here. How much is on the market? 28 right now. We could, we could certainly sell some titanium to get the money to buy the Hyperium. Also some trees. And is it this turn Speak. that we're allowed to Let tell them to... That we're allowed to ask words. them to back off? We're definitely doing it. It'll be so good for me if they say yes to this. I trust you no more than okay, great. So now this system should not be guarded by them anymore. Uh, it's a bug that, that it still is. Hopefully it'll go away next turn so that I can guard my uh, my border. And then that will mean that the uh, Eden Incense from Cert is actually entering the Empire stockpile from there, which obviously is pretty damn important. We might be able to secure a spot on the Academy Council here. This, this might end up being okay. Boy, the AI really... They put in a ton of resources for it, though, huh? Okay, there we go. So much better. But down here on Gonos, we definitely want to start colonizing the place where the food is. Look at it. That is probably pretty pleasant to live on. There's also an unknown curiosity here that we can't quite explore yet. I'm going to go ahead and pour dust into this, because obviously we want that finished quickly. And then once Gonos is finished, we probably want to go ahead and drop the new colony rule. Continue sabotaging their supplies. I don't know, maybe that would have been an okay occasion to steal from them, because sometimes you get resources. Right? Maybe we could have stolen Hyperium. Obviously, the problem with that is that we have no idea what we would be stealing or in what quantity, so it's a little hard to plan around it. 
Is this still reading as minus 2.4? Jesus Christ. Well, I'm going to keep everybody on Orm 1 for the moment for another three turns until we have generated another population point. And then we might move a bunch of population to Kairos to counteract some of that. We will be able to overcome. Uh, but it might it might be a moment before we can. And once we're pushing in influence back from their capital, like that's that's a huge problem for them. Also, speaking of influence, I th I'm a little torn as to whether I want to buy this out because we're actually building it relatively quickly. You know, what? I'm going to let it build. I think at this point we'll start saving up for applied cryogenics because it feels to me like a lot of our systems are actually doing an okay job at this point of building the things that we want them to build. And we are going to need those ships because we're not getting the Academy fleet. I wonder what the Sophons are doing that they're generating the amount of influence that we're seeing. I mean, here I guess they have the unique planet, which is certainly helpful. And then here's their home. Yeah, maybe it's not that impressive, because, like, Pictor's bubble isn't that big. All right, on Veni, what do we want? Well, more food's good. This might be a good time for more food here. Get intensive cultivation up, and then Orm also needs to build stuff. Uh, unfortunately, intensive cultivation is not that great. Epigenetic crop seeding is okay. Magnetic field generator is not terribly good. Um, oh, you know what? We should probably build supermarkets because we're going to have some approval problems once we start moving people to Kairos. Try to head that off at the pass a little bit. And it looks like next turn we're going to be able to buy out applied cryogenics. Which I think is a thing I want to do. And this is the last turn for getting in on Academy stuff, right? The roles have been oh, nope, I missed that it. All. Well, yeah, okay, it doesn't matter. So we would have we would have not gotten either of the two that do anything at all. So probably it's for the best that I didn't contribute more. Did we really hit 20 Imperials already? That was really fast. We, we, we went from 10 to 20 very quickly. Well, 20 Imperials is pretty damn good. That's that's one of the ones you want. Hmm, maybe we should be boosting the amoebas. I didn't I didn't remember that we had any of that resource. I assume we, we got two of it. No, we just have hydromiel? Wait a minute. Oh, Serta has a hydromiel deposit. Hydromiel is actually a great resource for us. That's very compelling. Where are my amoebas? Where's my amoeba population? Is it all on the car? Yes. Where we are losing food. Just too many damn people. Everybody everybody thinks they should get to eat. Well, what I was going to do is send some amoebas to other places and try to generate more of them. Because obviously they're, uh, they're very useful. But if I move the amoebas out of here, I'm afraid the system's uh, econ the food ecology is going to collapse. So maybe instead what we will do is... Epigenetic crop seeding here is pretty good. We actually have a considerable population. We could just buy it out right now and it solves all of the food problems. And then maybe just let apply applied cryogenics finish naturally. System's really having issues. I'm going to... I'm going to do that. Maybe that's maybe that's a little um, risky in terms of how long it's how long how much extra time I'm putting on those ships. But I do want to finish the academy uh, thing there anyway in that system. So I wouldn't I wouldn't have wanted to start building the mediums right away anyway. I don't know. It's possible we're going to end up regretting the thing I just did. Yeah, let's get some basic science structures going. Yeah, okay. Food explosion. Food explosion in our systems seems like a really, really useful thing. So we still don't want to move this. We want to leave the law in place. I don't think we want to switch on any other laws just yet. Because we're, like, we're really using all this influence, right? Oh yeah, I can't, right? Laws, switching laws on has a cost anyway. 
All right, let's uh, this turn here. Let's start continue or uh, start considering some. Ooh, interesting. Check out the Vine Network. Start considering some moves. First of all, population moves on Orm. Uh, actually, first of all, population moves here. We do have a, f a functioning spaceport. We're still food negative, even with. How could that possibly be? We weren't very negative before, and we just gained. 24 food. I guess it is only 24 food per turn. It's still good. And intensive cultivation logistics is fine here. I mean, we are also sending food to the outpost. Yeah, I, I sort of forgot about that effect. You know, that doesn't necessarily need to be happening from Nakar. What if we took the food from Serta instead? They're doing fine on Serta. And the ships will certainly get here faster. And that'll mean that we're way positive on Nakar, even without the, uh, the amoebas, which is totally fine. So let's send one amoeba to a place where there is population... Yeah, here we go. Room to grow, is what I was going to say. Nusakhan is also fine. Uh, we'll send one amoeba to one of them, and hopefully one to the other soon after. Obviously, I want to make sure that there is at least one on the car. Uh, we could probably prod our population of those guys up. What are their bonuses? Mostly what I'm thinking is I like the uh, ecological, and I like the fact that they provide food. But at 20% it's just, uh, 20 of them it's just plus 15% food. That's pretty good, and I am definitely willing to spend one of those to get a booster going for them. Provide us even more food. That's a cool, uh, a cool luxury resource for us to have found. I mean, for us to have had revealed to us, right? It was definitely like a Valter ship show <laughs> showed us that that was present. I right, definitely build that. And on Orm, we got to consider how many bodies are we moving to Kairos. Crop seeding is fine, not great here. I almost want to just try to build Denark University. Put this in the queue and then rush it when it's when it's available to be rushed. Because, I mean, this will certainly help with the approval or the, the influence issue. Obviously, though, it's pretty bad to do this and then move all of the people off of the planet that has the industry. Well, if we're planning to do this mostly with influence... No, it's not really feasible. We It needs to be a combination of both. It's too much influence to just do it with influence. We could put some food in. I wish that it were easier to tell what the influence differential here is, so that we could, like, actually... I could look at this and see that it's minus 35 and know, okay, well, putting three people on Kairos isn't going to be enough. If we put the system in this state, it crashes our approval down to content, but it does give us 75 influence output. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's viable. Seventy-five might still not be enough, and we do need to start pushing back on Mira here. We totally can. I absolutely believe that we can. Okay, so we are getting a, a, a real-time updating indicator from that, it looks like. If I move you over to here, just out of curiosity... Okay, no, that is not, in fact, updating in real-time. Never mind. If we put two people over there, we can maintain happiness while at least slowing the damage. Population growth is slow in that case, but not not so terribly slow. We could do this for an extra four. That feels that feels like it's probably not worth the build time. I don't know. Denark University is going to take so long to show any benefit at all, though. This is probably just not worth doing here. That's, I'm, I'm probably trying to get too cute. Let's let's do this though.
so they are unfallen down here somewhere. It is potentially the case that the Sofans are feeling pretty squeezed. I'm not really sure how we would take advantage of that. I'm not sure if that is a thing that we can take advantage of, but it feels like we should be able to do something with that information, right? Maybe we can, um, maybe we can make them friends somehow. I'm thinking we might end up fighting the Vaulters. They've agreed not to attack us on two different occasions, but they're also just generally pretty ornery, and we're kind of trapped in a corner here. If we want to keep expanding, we got to go through somebody. Their systems look pretty good. Yeah, so maybe that's what we're doing here. Try to make friends with the Sofans, maybe try to make friends with the Unfallen, and prepare for war with the Vaulters while continuing to improve our own economy. Because what we really want here is just a population that's as large as possible, which means we need planets. So I think that is maybe the long-term plan here. I'm going to consider this a little bit more. That's going to be it for us for today, though. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I have a tendency to turn medium-term plans into long-term plans, and that has definitely happened this game. Uh, but we're getting close to having those medium ships. We'll have commercial companies, uh, trade companies soon after. And hopefully we'll see a period of explosive growth, because boy, do we need it come back next time to see if we can pull any of that off and we'll see you then.